Oil and gas discoveries in Uganda in the Albertine Graben has put a strain on the fragile ecological systems, with many critics in the civil society cautioning government's readiness to safeguard the environment from degradation. Many wells are located within the Makshon Falls National Park, which is a hotspot for tourism activities. According to Mukitale Steven, the chairperson of the Parliamentary Committee on the National Economy, who was addressing a symposium in Kampala themed Oil and Gas Management for Inclusive and Sustainable Development and East African Regional Forum, the five member states of the East African community must come together to formulate policies as well as provide funding for the effective management of the environment in the wake of the explorations. And we also go into investments individually. It would be cheaper uh, if we worked as a region if we do seismic studies together and we negotiate with companies together. So the companies are finding it much easier to deal with Kenya alone, Uganda alone, Tanzania alone, and, uh, and that's how we're having a problem. Critics question government's commitment in the safeguarding of the fragile ecosystems in the Graben. They argue that the National Environment Management Authority is not well facilitated to measure up to the challenges ahead. Remember, you've not done very well managing other other natural resources that Uganda is having, the wetlands are always, uh, already gone and so on. So what kind of assurance do we have that you are going to manage the oil sector better? There seems to be a loose relationship between the neighbor and the district environment offices, especially in Hoima, where the oil is. This is in terms of budget, but according to Waiswa Ayazika, the Director of Environmental Monitoring and Compliance at NEMA, the government has put in place structures and frameworks through which the environment will be protected during the oil exploration. The government provides more resources to the districts uh, to be able to monitor the environmental aspects of oil and gas. And as I mentioned, that they are also part of our sector uh, team. They are already benefiting from some of the support we have from the Norwegian government on capacity building. NEMA, uh, what they are talking about that they are getting ready is not, doesn't mean that they are ready. They are saying that if money is found and they recruit more people and they train more people and this capacity is so money hasn't been found. Uganda currently has 4 billion barrels of oil with a recoverable rate of about 60%. But as anxiety builds up with the population, the environment stands to lose out unless appropriate measures are put in place to safeguard it from degradation.